Are you a vlogger, videographer, YouTuber, or content creator that have been struggling with lights and camera settings and you're just looking for something that is a pick up and shoot camera? Then I think this Nikon Z30 is the thing that's going to replace a lot of cameras. So let's get into it. Hey, what's up everybody? I am super excited because I just got my Nikon Z30 in the mail and I'm super excited to play with it. I was ready to upgrade because I was tired of using my Canon 60D that I bought way back in 2012. And so I'm going to show you some comparisons between the Nikon Z30 and the Canon 60D and with my cell phone because currently I am on my cell phone and I'm going to explain to you why I think me getting a different camera <laughs> just was absolutely necessary and why it would be beneficial to you as well. Now, I know the Nikon cameras have had a bad reputation and not being like some of the best cameras out there, but Nikon came out the gate swinging this time. It's specifically for content creators and that's why i'm super excited about it because look y'all i am a producer and what a producer do is manage paperwork raise funds hire crew you know just basically oversee the productions we're like project managers and so when it comes to all of this technical stuff your girl is just not that good at it so i needed a camera just a point and shoot type of camera because baby let me tell you something when they made that canon 60d back in 2012 whoo, they got some issues that i'm going to talk about and it just doesn't make sense for 2022 so if you are a vlogger, shoot video for behind the scenes, or if you are a content creator, then, or a YouTuber, <laughs> this camera is for you and it would be beneficial to adding to your arsenal of tools to get. So I'm going to go over all of that today. So if you're new to my channel, I'm Theta Catalan, the founder of Diversity in Cinema Academy, and this is the place to be if you're an indie filmmaker, video creator, or a screenwriter. All right, so let's get back to it. Okay, so first, let's talk about why I decided to get another camera. So with the Canon 60D, like I said, it's old, you know, it the video only you know you can only shoot for like 12 minutes then it will stop and then plus my camera i don't know if it's just because oh it just keeps stopping like it could go two minutes or five minutes and it's just stopping i don't see that it's overheating but it will just stop so i was like this is driving me crazy and another thing is is that in low light is just ridiculous and that's why i said i needed a camera that just point and shoot because it's like i'm doing all these adjustments and all this kind of stuff just to get the perfect you know look and believe me it's not that close to being perfect because again i am not a technician i do not do lighting i am not a cinematographer so Ooh, trying to get that lighting just right and messing with the iso and all of that and if you get the iso too high it's super grainy and all that kind of stuff I don't need any more of those issues. So we about to see with this Nikon Z30 <laughs> if it's going to alleviate all that. So we're going to go all that, go through all of that together today. And then some of you might be saying, well, Theta, because I'm currently right now shooting on my cell phone so I can be able to show you <laughs> the camera. Um, and you'd be like, well, why don't you just use your camera? I mean, your cell phone, because cell phones are, you know, pick up and shoot. But, you know, because of the type of channel this is and I give a lot of, you know, technical information and all that kind of stuff, sometimes I use a teleprompter. Obviously, I'm not using one right now. So when I do that, I, you know, I just want to make sure that I have my script readily available to me. And, you know, I just didn't want to be buying all that because you can do it with cell phones and all that kind of stuff too, using teleprompters. But I didn't want to do all of that. And I just thought it would be best to use a camera. Plus, like I said, I had this 60D that honestly, I never used that much. So that is the reason why I felt 
uh, me buying another camera just would be beneficial for me. So, and that might be a reason why it may be beneficial to you as well. Oh, and before I get into that, here's my friendly reminder. Please hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications if you want to continue receiving the content that I am providing for indie filmmakers to level up their film business. Yeah. Okay, so let's take a look at exactly what you get with the Nikon, right? So, first, you get the body of the camera, which is super sleek and it's super light. Oh, my God. Just picking it up was so different from my 60D. I was like, this is, like, amazingly light. It's almost, like, scary light because I'm like, oh, I'm going to drop it. <laughs> and then, so, um, you can buy just the body. Or you can get it where it comes with the lens kit. And the lens that comes with it is a 1650. Let me see that. There you go. And see, that's another reason why I wanted to switch from a cell phone. Because I know that just showed up backwards to you. <laughs> you also get a battery that comes with it. Boom, right here. So this is the battery that comes with it. Then the other thing that you get is you get this little charging mechanism. This is where you would charge your battery. Okay, so you would just use this USB cord and you would plug your camera up here, just like that. And boom, it is now charging. And as you can see, it shows the battery right here that shows that it's actually plugged in. And you also get a strap so that all comes with the camera and so the price point for all of this to include the lens that come with this is you know right at a thousand dollars a little over or something like that so you know with taxes and everything so it's very affordable and we about to see <laughs> if it's well worth it okay so let's look at some features of the camera so what they have, what's really cool about the camera is that it has this flip out screen. So you can do that and then you can turn it so you can see yourself. Right? And so then the other feature, which is really cool about this camera, is that it's so simple. It just turn it, it off and on right there. And then once you have it on, you can take the lens cap off. And then you can actually see yourself right there. Another thing that I really like about this camera is that it has easy to read dials. See, basically that is to shoot video and then that is to shoot pictures. And on the 60D, they have a ton of different things that honestly, I have no idea what they mean. So that's why I like this camera and so another good thing about this when i mentioned like if you're doing behind the scenes videos for your your films and you know any of your projects um uh, this is a good camera for that you know one thing that i hate that i didn't do is that i didn't get a lot of behind the scenes videos for the movies that i did so i don't have a lot to show when i when i'm talking about certain things about productions i don't have a lot to show so this camera will be perfect for that. What's really cool about this is that the lens, it locks in place. And my 60D does not lock in place. Let me tell you something. When I just moving a tripod, it's doing all kinds of, it's just doing what it want to do. So, um, but with this camera, it locks in place. And it, you can see right here, that is when it's locked. So you need to just unlock it and put it wherever you want it. Another reason why I wanted another camera is because of the autofocus. Like I said, <laughs> I said a million times in this video, probably I'm not a camera person. So being able to have something that autofocus is great. And something that's wonky in my 60D, or look, it could just be user. I don't know, but I need something easy for the user. <laughs> it sometimes it wouldn't autofocus, or it would just focus on something else. So, like say for instance, I did a video where it focused on my background and I was really soft. And so it just wasn't a good video and I just couldn't figure out what to do. So I ran with it, but honestly, I don't want those kind of issues anymore. So that is another reason why that I got 
you know, this Nikon Z30. So I'm gonna show you some functions of it. Something that's really cool about this Nikon, this is a touch screen. So I can have it track my face and usually it's looking for the eyeball. See, so it just caught my eye and now it's gonna focus on me and that's what it is looking for. And another thing that is great about this camera is that it shoots for 30 minutes straight. With my 60D, it will stop at 12 minutes. That's as long as it can go. And like I said, you know, with this camera, it's so old. It's been stopping at two minutes, five minutes, and been driving me absolutely crazy. I just edit that stuff out when I'm cussing it out. But yeah, so that is another great feature of the camera. And another good thing about this camera is that it is a 4K camera. So you can shoot in 4K if you want. So that's why I said if you're doing behind the scenes videos, this is a pretty good camera to do that with. Honestly, for like if you're doing stuff like here for YouTube or you're doing content creation for social media, all you need is 1080 HD, but the option to have 4K is here. Another good thing about this camera is that when you are shooting, you can actually see this light is on. If it's not on, then you know that it's not actually shooting. And that is something really great because there's been times that I have been actually shooting stuff and didn't realize that that 60D that kept shutting off on me shut off. So, you know, but that didn't happen too often because most of the time I caught it. Another real cool thing about this camera is that if you wanted to show a product such as my film, Future Icon Leading Motion Pictures Notebook, you can, you know, get close up on it, boom, without any blur. And then if you want to get back to me, the autofocus catches my eye again. Product, boom, me. Freaking awesome. Okay, so if you're finding any value in anything that I have shared with you so far in this video, then go ahead and hit that like button and let me know and let that YouTube algorithm know, okay? <laughs> this is what it looks like straight out the box. No lights at all in here. Um, with my 60D, I would have to actually bring like two, three lights down to shoot me, which was a pain in the butt because I'm not a lighting person. So it really irritated me. So I'm just coming to another spot in the room because this is usually where I would shoot. So I'm just trying to see what that looked like, but that's straight out the box. Just trying to show you what the, the lighting is like up in here. You know, um, looks good, right? I'm gonna show, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give y'all an example because I didn't bring no lights down. So I can see what this camera can do without any lights. And then I'm gonna show y'all an example with the 60D, no lights. And if I had to bump up ISO and all of that, I'm gonna do that with that camera. So, but this is what it looked like. No lights, y'all. This is what I've been looking for. <laughs> Okay, so this is my 60D and this is what it looks like without any lighting, just natural lighting. This is what it looks like. So now you can see what that looks like. Now I'm gonna bump up the ISO. Okay, so I just bumped up the ISO to 3200. I'm sure it has a ton of grain in this. So this is the difference and we're going to compare the two. Now I want to test the stabilization of this camera just to see what it looks like. Um, that is one of the things that a lot of people talk about. If you're walking and talking and it's not doing a whole bunch of shaking, it's nice and steady. And another reason why I'm doing this is because here I'm walking in my hallway and it is dark. There's no lights on up in here at all. And it still look good, y'all. Man, I don't need no light kits. This is, this is the bomb right here, y'all, okay? Baby, do y'all see this? I am in a dark hallway. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go get my, my, my 60D and do the exact same thing so you can really get an understanding of what I mean by it is dark in this hallway but it looks good. Anyway, so what do y'all think about that stabilization? I think it looks damn good, y'all. 
damn good walking and talking. It was a little shaky because my ain't me shaky. But it looks good. Look how it's moving. Yeah. Now look at this. Look at this, y'all. I'm on my 60D right now. And here I am. See the difference? Yeah. Look at that. Now y'all see why I bought another camera. This right here says it all. And look at that stabilization on it. Ugh. Look at all kind of shadows and stuff. This is the 60D. Okay, so I wanted to do a little test outside to see how the lighting would adjust on this camera. And to see, because I can actually see when the ISO is changing on the monitor. So when I was in my dark hallway, it was like up to like 6,000 and out here is like 140. So it automatically adjusts to your setting. So let's go back inside. I'm in this dark hallway again. Boom. It changes like, it's now like at 8,000. It's dark dropping as I move to the living room. Boom. Love it. Oh yeah, so I've been recording all of this with the internal mic. So I'm gonna show a comparison of what it actually sounds like with and without a mic. Okay, so now we're going to test out the Rode microphone that I have put on the camera. So I bought this that microphone a while ago and it honestly, just didn't have the sound that I wanted it to have. It kind of had this airy sound. So I'm curious to see if it just wasn't acting well with the 60D or it, maybe I just got a faulty one because so many people use this little Rode microphone. So anyway, so now I'm doing a test on that to see what that sound like and in comparison to the camera microphone and I also have another microphone that I've been using since this Rode one wasn't working right to me. Now, I would love for this Rode microphone to actually work with this camera because the one thing about the Sennheiser, even though it has did great for me, it has is battery operated. And so sometimes I forget to turn off the microphone. <laughs> so I've been going through uh, batteries. So hopefully this Rode microphone works. I have mounted the Sennheiser microphone to the camera. As you can see on here, they have these on and off buttons and the volume. And this is what I sometimes forget to turn off. So now we're about to test it on the Nikon to see what it sounds like. Okay, so I have the Sennheiser microphone attached. It is on. And so we're going to test that out and let me know which one do y'all think sound the best. And I'm not going to change nothing about the sounds. I'm not going to tweak anything. You know, it's going to be exactly what it sounds like. Another cool thing about this camera is they show you the audio peaks right there. See, when I'm talking, you can see the audio peaking pretty awesome and look i can see my battery is about to die on me so i didn't charge it before we did this <laughs> so but there it is i can see that on my 60d i didn't have that so again another great setting on this camera i also wanted to check out the lighting here in my office because this is where i mostly do a lot of my filming at like i said i went downstairs because that is the hardest place to light because i need all three of my lights to really light that room to get a good light instead of that kind of orangey glow that y'all saw because i had to turn on my overhead lights but here this is all natural lighting, baby. All natural lighting. I don't have to set up my lights. So again, the reason why I wanted this camera is because I wanted a longer run time because my videos tend to run anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes. And then I do have mistakes. <laughs> so I didn't want the camera shutting off on me. I wanted this great 
lighting low light settings you know where I'm, I'm not having to set up a whole bunch of lights all the time and I also want great autofocus on everything with the white balance with the tracking of my face and products all of that um all of that stuff was important and look like I got it all in this camera which have made my life as a producer I teach film but I teach you stuff about producing a movie I will not be the one showing you how to actually operate cameras let me show you how to make money that's what this channel is about and if I ever get guest speakers to talk about some cameras they will do that but Theta is not gonna be the one teaching you about cameras and lights unless it's just some of the basics you need to know as a producer so when you, it's time for you to hire these people you'll understand it so more theory <laughs> than actual practical work with the camera all right so that's it for this video thank you so much for tuning in i hope you find a ton of value in this and that hey this may be something that is on your wish list to get you may have been looking for a camera and i just told you of a great one to use even if you're a producer you need a camera so you can capture again the behind the scenes especially as an indie filmmaker because you may not be able to hire somebody to do the behind the scenes videos for you i think that's it guys so if you have not hit that subscribe button then do it now and hit that like button as well and if you're looking for some other content to look at go ahead and check out these videos right here